What's up dudes, it's Pat and welcome back to another video. Hey guys! So today we are checking out nine of the most dangerously stupid theme park rides ever. And I'm having a bad hair day today, don't judge me. Well, have you seen my hair? It looks, it's a mess every single day. You have gorgeous hair every day except for this one piece that just like sticks straight up like alfalfa. <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. So <laughs> what I do is I try to put the headphones over that hair to make it look epic. But today dudes, you probably are never going to want to go on a theme park ride ever again after seeing nine of the most dangerously stupid ones. Alright. So, the truth is, I haven't been on a theme park ride in a long Me time. Me either. I don't like them very much. Honestly, I'm always scared I'm gonna die. There was one time... <laughs> wait, wait, you have an eyelash. <laughs> ah! <laughs> wait, okay. Make a wish. I, I wish I never died at a theme park ride. Wait, you have another one. Hold, hold I'm on, I'm guys. Fine. I'm full, oh, my we're hair's... making eyelash wishes right my now. My hair's falling out. One more. <laughs> Okay. I wish that no more would ever fall out because I'll have no eyelashes. <laughs> so, dudes, it's going to be a lot of fun today. If you're loving these reaction videos, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, leave a comment down below. Let us know you subscribed. I'll be commenting to a ton of you dudes when the video goes up, so feel free to do that. So, right here, nine of the most dangerous. And then what I'm... is wrong with that lady right there? She's oh. missing an eyeball. I was going to say. Did her eyeball fly out? Oh, <gasps> look over there. What's happening to the people's eyes? So, this was so dangerous. This ride... The wind was so strong, people's eyeballs just flew right out. Wait, that person died! Do you see? Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness. It is gonna be crazy. I haven't gone on one. Oh, I was saying before. This once, is why I don't go on theme park rides. I went on a ride once, a roller coaster, and the thing wasn't holding me down, so I had to hold it down the whole time. Oh I could have died. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the rides. All right. Oh, this must be the first ride. Oh. It was demolished in 1936. So this is it. It doesn't look bad. It just Three looks... deaths, numerous injuries. Yes, this death train opened in 1911. To put things in perspective, that's a full year before the first traffic light was invented. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that sounds really safe. Unsurprisingly, ride safety standards were a little more relaxed than they are now. Throughout its three-decade history, the coaster killed three people, including crushing... One poor oh, soul to no. death. How did they, what did they go flying off and get crushed oh by it? Oh my goodness. It seriously injured scores of others. It was finally demolished in 1936 following a Massachusetts State Supreme Court oh, order. No. So dudes, just be happy you cannot go on this ride. Yes, it looks a little rough. I know, it's probably one of those ones it that bump like you around. It looks like it's falling apart. It probably didn't have safety harnesses <laughs> yeah, then. Probably not. That's probably what happened. Someone probably fell out. It was like the first roller coaster ever made. Oh, here's, well, here's the second one. Oh, okay. Wait, this goes in 1972. This is around for a while. The Battersea Fun Fair. Big Dipper. Okay, so this one was in London, England. That one was in Massachusetts. Okay, five uh, so, deaths, 13 injuries. That's kind of a lot, isn't it? And it was closed in 1972. The Big Dipper was the crowning jewel and star attraction at the Battersea Fun Fair, one of Europe's most successful amusement parks until May of 1972, <laughs> when 20 people flew off of it. One, oh my god, wait, is that really what happened? Wait, one of the cars became detached from the... Hol holog <laughs> holage <laughs> rope. What is that word? <laughs> holage. What is the holage? It's the rope that keeps everything next to the Okay. Not the holog. Sending the car flying backwards back into the docking station where it collided with another cart. Five children were killed and thirteen others injured in the crash, and the Big Dipper was closed for good. So this actually wasn't even dangerous until that one thing that happened. Then they just completely closed it. Probably a good idea. They should, probably should have had better rope. <laughs> They shouldn't have used haulage rope. That's horrible. Or haul log rope. They should probably use like metal. <laughs> something like that. That's horrible. So that closed. Luckily, guys, so far you can't go on any of these. It when you go through this, when you guys are watching this and you see one that looks fun, that is still open, don't go on it. Please <laughs> Avoid don't. Avoid that one at all costs. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, 1985. Action Park Cannonball Loop. Wait, what is this? Hold on, so zero deaths, no one ever died on this. Okay. Lots of injuries. As a New York native, I'm proud to say that Action Park could only have existed in a place like my home state. All the rides were absurd, but the Cannonball Loop, open for less than a month, oh, no. was the greatest embarrassment. At least nobody died. It was an enclosed water slide, but with a loop. Oh, I've never seen a loop in a water slide me before. Either. So you just go down this, oh my God. and then it loops that you. That seems like a horrible idea. <laughs> oh my god, imagine just you bang oh your face god. right into the side every time. <laughs> oh People are probably coming out bloody noses, like, every time they went into this thing. Oh no! So this, like, 
There was no controls. Oh just... my gosh! I just I saw something that said decapitated. I don't know if I want to hear about this. No one died. No one died though. But you can't get decapitated if you're alive. It says decapitated. He was born. <laughs> he was alive. His head just survived. <laughs> <laughs> there and is soon, now a man somewhere that walks on headless. He rolls on. <laughs> According to local lore, <laughs> lore, there's like lore here? <laughs> this is like serious. When the folks in charge of the park were testing it out with dummies, several emerged from oh. the ride completely to Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! Why would they use it then? <laughs> that must be a joke. Like, uh, like a, a story, right? Had to be. So, because you wouldn't get decapitated, but you'd probably bang your head, like, really hard, like, half the time. The design, w the design was so inefficient that it was constructed with a hatch at the bottom of the loop so people who got stuck in it could get out safely. This is horrible! Oh, so some people didn't even make it through oh the loop. Gosh. They'd go, like, halfway up and go bang it back down, and another person would, like, kick them in the head. <laughs> It was opened in the summer of 1985, but closed after one month of operation. Ooh, thank goodness that one's closed. You know, if I was there, I wouldn't think I'd want to go on that one. I'd be like, that one looks a little bit too dangerous for me. All right, oh, I thought that was one. Introducing new signature crafted recipe sandwiches from McDonald's. Let's click on that later. <laughs> this looks horribly dangerous. Not Berry Farm Peerless. Plunge. You've been English, bro. You said it right, though. Perilous plunge. This one was in California. One person died and it closed in 2012. So look at it, though. That is so steep. It is. Someone just probably went flying out of it. The whole thing probably just toppled over yes. and fell out. Fun fact, if you introduce enough water rides with insanely steep drops from radical heights into the world, something bad is bound to All happen. All right, let's see what happens. That was just the case in 2001. Wait, it happened in 2001, but it didn't close until 2012? And no one else died. I'm surprised they didn't keep it open. People probably kept flying out, but they like, didn't yeah. die. <laughs> So when 40-year-old Lori Mason Lorez somehow slipped out of her restraints, see, that's what happened to me. My no. restraints weren't holding me. I was holding it in. Like, whenever I go on the rides, I'm always like this. I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't like rides. I like spit Was on the screen. Was that the last time you went on one? Um, I, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, there's one other ride I was on once. It was horrible. Like, it seems even more dangerous than any of these rides. Really? So it was like a big circle. It was just one giant circle. Yeah. And it was like a roller coaster. So what it did is it would go up to the top and then it would stop while you're upside down for oh. like one minute. Wait, that happened to me. Okay. So I used to just go on, you know, the teacups, the nice little children rides. She was 22 was like, years old. Even when I was 22. No shame there. But I went on this one ride that I thought was going to be calm and nice. And then I went upside down and I was upside down for like five minutes. No, and it literally. My life changed after. After that. Like, she never went on a ride again. It wasn't that long ago, though. All right, the next one, there's not even a picture for this one. It was so dangerous. All right, this is the Waterworld Bonsai Pipeline in Concord, California. One that 30, 30 injured. 30 injured? That's a lot of people. Okay, so that closed in 1997. 30 high school seniors were injured and one killed in 1997 after the students overcrowded this popular amusement park attraction, causing it to collapse. Oh, no. Despite a park guard's efforts to regulate the amount of people in line for the slip and slide, the large group was able to climb to the top where catastrophic <laughs> we both can't <laughs> English. Catastrophe struck. 17 students received their diplomas the following month in wheelchairs. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Man, these are absolutely awful. I'm glad some of these closed I'm down. I'm never going on a ride ever again. I won't even go on the Furious <laughs> Wheel now. <laughs> the Furious Wheel? <laughs> Is that how you say it? The Furious the Wheel. The Furious Wheel. <laughs> the Furious <first> Wheel? <laughs> the Ferris. Ferris Wheel. Ferris. Ferris. Ferris Wheel. <laughs> All right, the next one is called the SCAD Dives, which just looks dangerous just looking at it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. All right, so right, right here. There's like, it looks like... It's so creepy. It looks like they're about to jump onto a shark <laughs> or something. Oh, no, it's that's... It's still a, open. There's like a dead person down there. I don't know what that is. Multiple locations. No one ever died, though. Numerous injuries. It's still open. So if you guys want to go on this... Do not. Please <laughs> stay away. This is the only entry on our list that isn't in one particular park. It belongs here because, from start to finish, it's completely insane. Sure, for suspended catch air device, SCAD dives basically involve taking a person and suspending them 150 feet in the air. It's already sounding pretty bad to me. <laughs> dropping them without any kind of tether. What is a tether? Like something holding you so you don't die. What? So they... Just dropping you. What? 
and allowing them to fall into a net suspended roughly 50 feet above the ground. That sounds horrible. The rides have a long history of mishaps, like people being dropped without the net in place to catch oh them. Oh my goodness. And even missing the safety net completely. Oh. Wait, on America's Got Talent last year, didn't someone get dropped onto the net and they like bounced oh, off yeah, yeah. onto the ground? Yeah. Which can happen on things like this. That is so dangerous. I can't believe it's open. I know. <laughs> we should we should go. No, never. All right, next up is Action the Park Kayak Experience. So once again, no picture. It's probably just like so like sick and twisted. <laughs> so over here, the folks at Action Park in Vernon, this one closed in 1982. New Jersey, yes, the same guys who gave no! us the cannonball loop. No! Those people a... need to stop making rides. Uh, do never go. <laughs> do never go. I'm just saying, guys, do never go to the action park in Vernon, New Jersey. It's not worth it. <laughs> they decided to offer the guests a real-life whitewater kayaking experience without the actual whitewater rapids. Things didn't exactly work out as planned. A patron was electrocuted. No! <laughs> How's that ever happened on a ride? Electrocuted? <laughs> and died after he touched an exposed electrical wire while trying to gain control of his capsized kayak. Oh no! So there was electrical wires. What were exposed electrical wires doing in an amusement yes, park? Yes, what were they doing there? What a ride, you ask. Turns out the easiest way to emulate the wild rapids in MF... <laughs> to emulate the wild rapids of white water... <laughs> Kayaking was to use giant electric fans to stir that up rapid currents. That sounds very intelligent. That, well, I mean, <laughs> he touched the wire. Why is there wires near water That's ever? That's a horrible idea. Oh, man. That place, just never go there, guys. Absolutely. Okay, next is the Action Park Green no! Pool. What? Vernon, New Jersey. Not again. Isn't that place oh, again? It's horrible. Goodness. Three deaths. This one's still open. Still open? Oh, no. Okay. Just, so this is it right here. This is the action park. What is this? Just like a pool? The action park grave pool. <laughs> grave pool. Three deaths, numerous injuries. Just in case you haven't been keeping score at home, this is the third strike against New Jersey's action park. The tide. Oh, the tidal wave pool. Oh, I always hated the tidal wave pools. I've never been in one. So it's like a huge pool where there's tidal waves, and it always seems so dangerous that to me. That sounds horrible. So it was known to locals as the grave pool, and for good reason. The massive pool was 100 feet by 250 feet long, had a maximum depth of 8 feet, a maximum capacity of 1,000 people. That's a lot of people. <laughs> it was so intense that there were anywhere from 12 to 20 lifeguards on duty at times. That is crazy. Oh, my gosh. 20 of them. While most lifeguards can expect to make two to three saves in a weekend, the lifeguards at Great Pool would make around 30. 30? They'd have to save people's lives 30 that times. That's insane. Despite their best efforts, Great Pool claimed the lives of three swimmers between 1982 and 1987. At least no one has died. Maybe they made it safer since then. Okay, yeah. So it's been, it's been like 30 years since then. Eventually redesigned to be shallower and more manageable. That's oh, why. Oh, good. It remains open today as the High Tide Wave Pool. It's no longer the Action Park <laughs> Grave Pool. Oh, no. What is that? What are we looking at? Is this a ride? Because if it is, it looks okay, horrible. Let's see. let's see what this is. This is the Middle Lemoore Water Park Human Trebuchet. One death closed, we hope. <laughs> They don't even know. Someone should check. <laughs> Can you guys check if you live in, in Somerset, United Kingdom for us? It shouldn't surprise anyone that some engineers in the UK decided to build a catapult. That's right. A medieval device used to destroy enemies in battle and shoot plague-ridden corpses over walls in order to hurl living human beings through the air for fun. Oh, what so, is wrong with people? So I've seen these before. So they must attach the person right there, and then it goes down, and then it shoots them up through the Why? air. Why? Why would anyone want to do this? For the low, for 70 bucks. Oh, oh should, what a deal. They should give you 70 bucks <laughs> for surviving. Okay, for the low, low price of $70, willing participants were fired 75 feet through the air, completely unsecured, without any protection, into a freestanding net suspended above the ground. What could possibly go wrong? In 2002, a 19-year-old Oxford undergrad was killed after being tossed through the air and completely missing the safety net. See, that's what happens. Yes! You miss the safety net. Okay, well, think about it like this. 
So this is going to throw everyone exactly the same, right? Yeah. But they all weigh different amounts. Mm -hmm. If someone's 70 pounds, they're going to go fly it over the net. I know. If someone's 450 pounds, they're only going to get halfway to the net. That is crazy. <laughs> that is... I just don't see how they could do this stuff. I don't either. It's not clear whether the human trebuchet was closed out. How do they not know that? But we'd like to think humanity came to its senses. I don't know, guys. These are dangerous. Let us know which one do you think looked the most dangerous. I'm thinking 100% the trebuchet, right? Definitely that one. Yeah, don't go to New Jersey Tooth, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely crush that like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below. Let us know you subscribe, and I'll try to comment to a bunch of you guys. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!